What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Friday morning edition of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk Matt on Twitter, my Twitter account, at Betting Pros, at the Betting Pros Twitter account. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello, how are you? If you've never watched this thing video wise, you can always do that. Audio is how most of you get it wherever you get your audio podcasts and BetMGM. Always the sponsor of this podcast, $10 bet to win $150. Promo code JUICE150 when you sign up for a new account at BetMGM. Okay, so our first losing night day in a while. Man, I thought we had overtime coming in Illinois and Ohio State, and I thought maybe we might sneak one out, but we really snuck one out with Florida. It was 2-1 to one going into the third period. I bet over 5.5 goals just because I wanted to see it fall 6. I was like, okay, maybe we can kind of like hedge on the 6.5. They scored 6 goals in the third period. What? <laughs> Columbus gets the win 6-3, to three, but we get the over easily 6.5. 9 goals get scored in that game. Hello. Hi. Okay. So we got that right. That was pretty fortuitous. Unfortunately, we do not get the NBA right because Oklahoma City fell apart. We were we were covering the entire game. And then last three minutes, the Suns went nuclear. We lost that game, unfortunately. And then we get the Illinois game, minus six. They do not cover. They lose outright at home to Ohio State. So one and two night. Eh. Somebody wrote in the comment section, Matt's going to sweep. I'm going to tell you this little secret. When I see things like that, I normally cringe. I actually, I actually prefer it when you guys don't like my picks, to be honest. <laughs> I like it when we get the peanut gallery, these picks suck. Good. <laughs> That's just generally how I feel. I would prefer to get hate than love. I'll get love after the picks are right. But before the pick, when someone says, oh, I love it. I always get very nervous. I'm like, mm, that gets me a little concerned when you guys really like the picks. I'd prefer a kind of like a hmm, moment when you see me make plays that normally I normally have success when those things, when those things happen, but because I tend to ride with the books, I tend to be on the side, wanting to be on the side of the sports books. Not always, but I tend to try to be. Okay, it's a Friday. That means it's time for the don't bet a parlay parlay. I want to. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna hate the parlay. Just heads up, you're gonna hate it. I don't care, but you're gonna hate it. It's not gonna be a fun one. Okay. And then I got three bets. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go one hockey, one college, and one NBA for us here tonight on a Friday to have some fun. I am probably, and let me just kind of stress probably, bringing back the Discord conversation for Saturday. Now, if you are new to the Daily Juice, we talk, and I'm probably going to push this maybe a little bit later, maybe 8.30, 11.30 in the morning to give me a little more time. In football, we were kind of up against it. Saturdays were not so much up against it, but since there are so many big college basketball games coming up on Saturday, the Discord bet, which is, if you are new, we have a live Discord conversation. You guys come in, you raise your hand, and we have a conversation. You recommend plays, and then I put a half a unit down on whatever you guys vote on, and you guys, you know, it's a crowdsourced bet. If you have a better way or a suggestion as to how to make it better, you can DM me on Discord at Sports Talk Matt and tell me. Say, hey, Matt, have you ever thought about doing X or Y or Z? Go ahead. Wide open, all ears. I don't really know how we do a Discord bet vote or how do we come to a consensus without it. I mean, I guess I could just pick the one that I like, but that doesn't really, I want to involve you guys on that. So I don't know. We've got 12,000 users now on the Discord channel, so like, it might get a little crazy with the voting, but we figured out how to use the threads, and there's ways of kind of breaking it out, so I don't know. As of right now, the Discord channel conversation, Discord chat, will be back on Saturday morning, okay? The only thing that might throw a little wrench in that is that I have a doctor's appointment today, and I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to take. I don't know how many. So like, if, I, if I'm if i taping this tomorrow night for Saturday morning and I'm like a mess, for whatever reason, maybe I won't be able to do it. But I think I should be okay. So 8.30 Pacific, 11.30 a.m. Eastern time for a 15-minute Discord chat conversation. The return of the Discord bet will reset, zero, zero, and you guys get to bet with my money. Okay, so we're doing that. All right, so here is... The don't bet a parlay parlay. It is a plus 617 three unit bet. All right. <laughs> I feel almost bad doing this. So 
We're playing three hockey totals. Okay. We're playing the Winnipeg Jets taking on the Colorado Avalanche. Okay. Jets, Avalanche, the total is six and a half. We're playing under. Avalanche, yes, have been a pretty good team to the over this year, but they've been playing a little bit slower than normal, and the Jets are not really a team that is playing a ton to the over. 3-2, 3-1, 4-2, their last three games. Two of those three on the road. For the Avalanche, 5-2 against a bad Detroit team. They won. They lost 5-1. 5-3 win, 2-0 win, but this is the first game back after a four-game East Coast road trip for Colorado. So we might have some tired legs there, and they may play a little bit slower. First matchup was 7-1, okay? So I'm hoping that the Jets don't score a lot, and maybe the Avs are a little tired. They're 23, 21-3-2 at home, okay? They are dynamic at home. I most likely will have a personal play on the Avalanche puck line in this game, but... For the don't bet a parlay parlay, we're going to jump in here with under six and a half goals. Let's get a 4-1 win for Colorado. Okay, let's get that. Under six and a half. Second leg, the Vegas Golden Knights are on the road at the, sorry, at the Arizona Coyotes. The first game between these two played in Phoenix, 7-1 the win for the Vegas Golden Knights. However, Vegas has been playing a little bit slower than normal. 6 nothing, 2 nothing, 4 3 4 1 over the last, sorry, 4 nothing, 6 nothing, 2 nothing, 4 3 4 1 over your last five games. Only one of those games going over six goals. The total is six, and it's juiced to the over. You get a little plus money on the under, which helps the plus 6 17 wager, but I actually think Vegas is going to hold the Coyotes down. And offensively, Vegas hasn't been great. Okay, they've been okay. They scored four goals in their last game against San Jose. But I think Vegas is starting to play much better defensively. And getting Jack Eichel back on the ice and getting a big win with him on the ice against San Jose was huge. I do expect them to play pretty well tonight. I think they handled the Coyotes pretty easily. Vegas is 15-7-1 straight up on the road. Arizona is 6-19-1 on the road. But I think it's a 3-1, 4-1 win here for the Vegas Golden Knights. Under six for the second leg and the third leg. I mean, you you have to be a dummy to bet an under for the for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus, the total is six and a half. They're playing on the road at the Carolina Hurricanes. They just had six goals tonight. They've won four games in a row. They're actually pretty hot. They've won four games in a row. They scored four goals in the third period against Florida. And the Hurricanes are a pretty good team as well when it comes to scoring. In fact, in the first matchup between these two teams, uh, we have our, hold on, let me pull that up um, for the Hurricanes. And uh, the first match, okay, it's been 5 1, 7 4, 6 0. Okay. Over six and a half. You just have to. You just have to, I mean, we have to. So. It could be, we just need one extra goal there. 11, 6, 11, 6, the totals. But you look at the Blue Jackets, 7, 10, 11, 8, last four games. For the Hurricanes, 7, 7, 8. Their last three games, 5 and 5, the two games before that. We're going over. Under Jets, Colorado. Under Vegas, Arizona. Over Columbus, Carolina. For a plus 617, don't bet a parlay, parlay three legs for us here tonight. Let's stay with the Vegas Golden Knights, okay? Vegas, I like Jack Eichel a lot on this team. I like Vegas on the road a lot. I don't like Arizona at home at all. Really bad record. Coyotes are 9-18-2 against the Western Conference. They are last in 3.9 assists per game. Golden Knights come in here. Averaging 3.2 goals per game, but that's just going to increase because of what they're going to have with Jack Eichel on the ice. I think this is going to be 4-1, 3-0, somewhere in that range here. Puck line is even money. I'm going to lay the puck line with the Vegas Golden Knights on the road at Arizona. Vegas puck line, minus 1.5, even money against the Arizona Coyotes. As I said, the first meeting was 7-1. Max Pacioretty had two goals in that game. We're going under 
sorry, puck line, even money, Vegas against the Arizona Coyotes for a half a unit. For college basketball, Northwestern is at Penn State. Penn State, according to Ken Palm, three-point winners, 65-62. This total is stupid low, 128.5. Thought about betting the under in this game. Could, maybe, but I think it's like right there. I mean, I think the number will be really, really tight. But Penn State's only one and a half point favorites in this game. Ken Palm has it a three point win over Northwestern here. I like that a lot. I like Penn State at home a lot here in this game. I think Penn State in a slow down grinder of a basketball game. They've already beaten Northwestern once this season. I think they beat them again coming up here at home. They're a tough team to play at home. They're not great on the road, but Penn State, one of the best teams in the Big Ten defensively. Tough to score on. Tough to get offensive rebounds against these guys. Three-point range might be a little bit difficult because they do give up threes at time. But it's senior night for Penn State. Okay, It's Friday night. It's senior night. I, I mean, I, I, I just think this is an opportunity for... Um, yeah, well, yeah, so they're going to honor, Penn State's going to honor their seniors on Friday night before they play their regular season finale against Nebraska on Sunday night. So it's kind of a weird deal, right? So they're going to honor the all the players who have played four plus years on Friday, and then they'll have their senior night on Sunday against Nebraska. Kind of a weird deal, but it, it'll be an, an emotional moment, a special moment for a lot of these guys. Short number, minus one and a half, Penn State. Minus one and a half at home against Northwestern for a half a unit. And finally to the NBA. And let's talk a little bit about the Dallas Mavericks on the road at the Utah Jazz. Number is six. Dallas this year, 32-26-1 against the spread on the road, 16-12. Against the Western Conference, Dallas is 23-15. They've covered the last two games, 4-1 over the last five, 7-3 over the last 10. Utah, 26-31-1 against the spread, 16-17-1. Mind you, with injuries for a lot of these, not having their full complement of players, obviously Mitchell and company being hurt, Gobert too. Four and one over the last five, five and five over the last 10, that four and one mark leading into the all-star break when they got healthy and they started to cover games. They've been very good against the spread going back to the beginning of November. They've been hot, covered against Brooklyn, New York, Golden State, Orlando, Houston did not cover in their last game against the Lakers. They lost on the road, which was somewhat stunning. Dallas, however, has been equally as good. Philadelphia, Atlanta, Detroit, Clippers, all four games covering, lost outright on the back-to-back games against the Clippers, but then beat Miami on the road, beat New Orleans on the road last two games, cover five and a half and laying two and a half against New Orleans, one, eight, and seven. Luka's playing incredibly well right now. I think six points is too much. I think this is going to be a hard-fought game. Total is 216 and a half. I thought about playing the over in that game. I don't mind a bet on the over either for Dallas and Utah, but I think Utah, they keep this game close. Sorry, Dallas keeps this game close. I think Utah wins the game. I think Dallas keeps it close. I think it's going to, we might be in for the game of the night in the NBA. Dallas, plus six on the road against the Utah Jazz, taking Luka and company in this one for a half a unit. Okay, so the don't bet a parlay parlay, which we hit our first one. We, we brought it back. We missed our last three. Under six and a half, Colorado and Winnipeg. Under six, Vegas and Phoenix. Over six and a half, Columbus and the Carolina Hurricanes for a plus 617. Don't bet a parlay parlay. Vegas puck line, even money, half a unit. Penn State minus one and a half, half a unit. Dallas plus six, half a unit. Those are our Friday plays. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. Each and every morning, it's the Daily Juice podcast. I was being brought to you by BetMGM.